Hi guys, welcome back to The Spot. It's time now for a spot of music and today we've got a track from Iceberg. <laughs> a little kind of um, the vibe is the you know hip hop and then the song I got money so you're gonna show what the money I like the car is doing it is a nice car yeah so money girls money equal expensive things mm. trillion trillion that's Prince was, was quiet for a while but you know he's he back he's back you know. Mm. Yeah. Ah, this is featuring Fino. I don't know why I didn't know that. Oh, really? Yeah, featuring Fino. And Fino, well, in a sense, can't do any. Can't, can't do, do no wrong. wrong. Yeah. No, we He's can't. He's uh, super talented. He has a huge fan base. Yeah. You know, so there's that. I don't know. I'm looking kind of like, I'm wondering where he's going to go from, from here. From here, yeah, you know? Because in a sense, you could say, okay, well, oh, you know, with, when he was with Chalk Boys, yes, mm -hmm. I'm still on that. You know that, oh, you're definitely going to get some MI flavor in there. You're going to get some, you know. And I don't know how acrimonious or not acrimonious it was. So I don't know if we can look forward to... Mm, collaborations. You know, a, you know, collaborations in the future. Because, you know, when you have someone like Jesse Jags doing mm -hmm. a production, I mean, it's going to be dope, right? So, um, yeah. yeah. So, I, I well, that's interesting kinda, visually. I like that visual mm -hmm. little... I think it's kind of like the same thing that happened when Jesse Jags left. Mm-hmm. Because you know Jesse Jack left yeah. for a while and then he came back. And they're family regardless, so whatever it is, I'm sure that they will still, you know, do Be stuff cool together. Mm -hmm. But it's a nice song. It's a nice thing. It reminds me of them South African hip-hop songs. Like, you know, it's very mm, okay. true to the, you know. Yeah. Thing. So, nice. Fino Fino. All ah. right, so it's time for us to bring in our guest of the day. Yes, it is. Um, she's extremely talented. She's an award-winning actress. Mm -hmm. And um, I think it, it will be interesting to see, you know, what she's looking forward to in the year to come. Let's welcome the lovely Kendi Bankole. You're my best behavior. <laughs> <laughs> come on in. Hello. Coming in hey. gently. Hi. Welcome Hi. to the spot. Thank you. How are you doing? Fine, thank you. Good, good, good. I'm actually looking forward to pulling my shoes. I've been oh. waiting. Ah, okay. <laughs> and those are nice shoes. Wait, oh, you have small feet, so I can't still. I can't see. see, see. Oh, That's good. No, dress. <laughs> hey, good. Ditch him. Don't, don't greet him. How could I? How could don't I? Don't greet him. Good to see you. Very good to see you as well. How are you doing? Fine, thank you. Good. Finally. <sighs> the show where I can be free. Yes. <laughs> oh, you've got small feet. What size are you? 37. <gasps> you're smaller than me? Oh my wow. god. Wow. 38. Oh. oh, wow. That's nice. You people that have small feet, I hear you. I have oh. huge, massive ones. So, very yeah. good. What's your size? 42. That is. Big old feet. Yeah. <laughs> But yeah, so welcome to the show. Thank um, you. How, how's things, how's things? How, how's like things going for you? <sighs> it's a mixture. It's exciting. Yeah. It's stressful. Mm. It's fun. Mm -hmm. It's, um, it's beautiful, really. Mm. I'm, mm. I'm quite happy. Yeah. What's been, what's the, what's been stressful, though? Like, what's the... Well, some mental and psychological part ah. of the kind of work we do. Mm -hmm kind of environment we live in where everything's all right except that your generator has to make so much noise all <laughs> night and if you think oh this noise is too much you put it off your neighbor's own mm -hmm. will make the noise so just better leave it and mm -hmm. suffer Everybody it be noisy together yeah, yeah you sit in traffic for hours there's so much noise pollution mm -hmm. we're getting it right but the environment is sort of like stuck in a particular way right. so no matter how much peace you have if you don't try to sort out the next person beside you, you won't mm. have peace as well because it's like yeah. you need to sort yourself out and you need to sort everything mm. out in the environment out. That's Otherwise, true. it's not right. So that, that part of the stress. Okay. But aside that, 
It's been yum, awesome. yum, yeah. yum, 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 <laughs> delicious. So you just came back from London, right? You're working yeah, on it. Yes, you? about a week now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How was that received? It was well received. It was um, that kind of environment that things work. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Yeah, the structure. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And that fosters discipline, time management. Mm -hmm. If you miss a train, you wait for mm -hmm. the next whatever. So you're forced to be organized. Right. You can't lie again on um, traffic. <laughs> you can't do those things. You just have to. And but the environment is enabling. It allows yeah. you to think clearly, plan yourself. Yeah. yeah. And um, art, like, well, we're receiving arts well in Africa as well now. Mm -hmm. But it's really well received out there. Mm -hmm. They understand the value. They celebrate it. Mm. So that is like another motivating factor. So it was very well received. Mm, that's mm -hmm. good. Are you going to be heading over there? to do some more things? Are you going to be leaving us to go over there or are you just going to dip your toe in and come back? Dip your I've toe always in been dipping in and out. Mm -hmm. um, now it was Yaludi of Eti, we went to perform. Earlier it was um, Itong Ginin yeah, okay. We've always gone in and out. Mm -hmm. So I'm always going to be... Yeah. But this is where I live. This is yeah. mm. my life. Here is the noise of the generator and all that. We hope it will change. Yeah. But this is where I belong, actually. So are you, are you excited about 2017? Very much excited. I'm curious, more like. Mm. Mm. Yeah, this year has been, no matter how much people thought they had things planned out, mm. this year sort of like. Surprises. Yeah, it took over by itself yeah. and mm -hmm. things just. Mm -hmm. So there are lots of questions that this year clearly didn't answer. We're curious about, you know, what's going to happen. Yeah. <sighs> anxiety, a bit of it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. On politics, anxiety on policies that will be made, anxiety on, on quite a number of things. But I'd rather not be anxious. I'd rather just say I'm curious, curious. to see yeah. how things will pan out, yeah. you know, how things will turn out. Yeah. But, yeah, that's it. Mm. Are you excited about any particular projects that you're going to be working on? Have you already lined up? A, like, is, is, are you booked, as they say? I'm booked. I'm sure she's <laughs> booked. Are you booked for the rest, for the whole year already? Or are you still picking and choosing the things that you're going to be really, you know? You always pick and choose. Mm -hmm. yeah. And no matter how much you think you're booked, mm -hmm. our job... It doesn't have a security. Yeah, okay. It's not like uh, you're a banker, you're sure at the end of the month you're going to make X and X amount mm -hmm. of money. Some months, or, yeah. or, you know, <laughs> where there's structure, where yeah. you're... So, yes, you might think you're booked and something might come up, but I could say I'm looking at yeah. scripts, I'm looking at stories, I'm in conversations, yeah. I'm, you know. Mm. But, and then you might think, oh, I've chosen this one, I think this is, this is the next film for the next year. Okay. I don't want to do too many films, this is the one. And then along the line, some other story might come mm -hmm. and you're like, yeah, nah, this, this is one, the story. This is it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, yeah. the story is king. So we can't say that. I'm busy. That's what I'll say. Yeah, she but is. I can't say I'm booked. Okay. I am busy. All right, okay. cool. It uh, looks like it's time for us to take a break, guys. Yep. When we come back, we'll be getting to know Candy a little bit more and also delving into our topic of the day. Please stay with us. Welcome back, guys. You're still watching The Spot. And today we have with us the beautiful Kende Ankole. Hi. And she's telling us about, um, you know, 2016, how good it was for her. It was a great year for you, I must say. Yes. And she's curious to see what 2017 has for her, right? Yep. OK. OK, awesome. Um, so we'll get into the topic of the day. And the topic of the day is actually an interesting one. It's, it's through the years. So it's sort of like talking about the things that we learn, the things that we experience over time and how that shapes us, how that changes us, um, or how it doesn't shape us or how it doesn't change us. I guess it just depends on the person, right? It depends on the experience. So that's kind of where we're, ex that's where we're kind of exploring today. Um, and when you say, oh, through the years, a lot of times the, the first thing that will pop up in most people's mind would be things like family, things like love, you know, like how that kind of changes through the years. And I think I'm slightly abnormal <laughs> because when I saw the topic through the years, I actually thought more of negative things in a sense and of how they have changed me through the years and how I have adapted in a, in a sense to how I react mm. to, to, to them. So um, I guess my question would be for the room mm. is, when, when I say through the years, what do you think of and, and, and how, what does it bring up in your own mind? Like when you say, oh, this, through the years, 
what would be the next clause in the sentence, in a sense, that, that, that would come up? Mm, I think it makes me think of the first part of okay. your um, definition, which is uh, the experiences in life and how they've shaped you mm -hmm. through the years. Mm -hmm. um, and just certain, like which one of those, which things made you, were, were either changing factors yeah. or um, you know, things that kind of bumped you into a different road or oh, okay. um, made you reevaluate things different. Um, so for example, for somebody who's always been a writer and wanted to write a book, something happens and they're like, do you know what, I actually want to make candles. Um, and that now reminds me of um, a popular uh, media, um, media entrepreneur whose okay. father at the age of 70 decided that he wants to start making candles oh yeah so he's always made candles for um you know Just family members family. and yeah. now he wants to do it professionally and he started making at some 70. at 70. 70 and um you know she put up a few posts about it and was just like you nothing stops you from starting mm -hmm. you can be 20 you can be 70 and then finally find what it is that you want to do so yeah. through his years he's yeah. he's thought like he, he mapped out his life and he thought that this is the thing that i'm going to be doing yeah. but clearly that's not where he, he must have enjoyed the process yeah. but that's not where satisfaction comes from yeah. mm. oh, that's actually interesting how about you well i, I seem to agree yeah. um but the, but additionally also, through the years, would make me think about knowledge, ah, would make okay. me think about growth, maturity, mm -hmm. how the process of time has made me. It's funny how we think we know ourselves. When, when I was 16, I'm sure I thought, I, I thought I was the best thing at that time. <laughs> I knew my hobbies, I knew who I was. Yeah. And how time, you don't need anything but just time. Mm. Mm would now teach you new things. Yeah. And then through the years, really, like you said, I now look back. I even trying to remember what I was like when I was 18. Mm. But mm. your presence had that then, that presence was all you knew. Yeah. And that was the reality. So when you're now, what we're calling, what we're calling the future, which is right yeah. here, right now, yeah. is all we know right now. That's it's time true. that actually, we're not in charge, really, mm. in life. We're not, uh, how much we think we know everything right now i probably think oh, i'm like the hottest thing to happen to the spot right now <laughs> <laughs> just kidding how you think that way but you look back maybe 10 years down the line and you even try to remember the things you said here you can't remember yeah, yeah. so i think through time through the years things change yeah and as much as we think we're in charge we're really really not in charge of things mm. Mm. i think that's what comes to my mind okay Timmy. um for me, it's more about the choices, okay. you know, because life is funny. You find yourself here and you feel like it's a good place. We all feel like, you know, we obviously you feel like there's some places that you could do better, but yeah. you find yourself in a good place. But you now think back to all the different deciding times in the past where you had to make one yeah. or two choices, you know, psychology graduate, but I decided to do sales and marketing, okay. but then I made the decision to be an actor, mm -hmm. and then I made the decision to be on the spot, you know? So all those decisions and all those choices that you've made and where they've taken you to, you know? When, you, when I think through the years, I think, should I, you know, I feel like I'm all right now, but what if, what if I yeah. what if you had, what what if, you, know, so you had made one wrong decision yeah, and you're you not meant to be here. Yeah. God, God, in his infinite mercy and mm. his amazing awesomeness, you mm -hmm. know, just allowed us. You know, <laughs> once in a while, you know, the Holy Spirit gives you some sort of guidance. But, Preach it. But he yeah. still basically <laughs> just allowed us. So mm. the choice, the movies you just decide to do, the ones yeah. you turn down, you know. So I'm just, when I think through the years, I tell, and I'll pray to God and say, that Father Lord Jesus, <laughs> please guide me yeah. to the path that you want me to go. But yeah. I don't want to just be walking. Sometimes you think you're, you're, you're moving forward, but you're, but just, you're, you're taking steps. Just like you're not moving forward. Yeah, you're just you're treading. Forward, you think right. it's, what, you know, it's, you, you know, so it's, it's, when I think about it, it's not really happy for me. Yeah. One of those things where I'm like, God, am I really doing what it what? is that I'm even supposed to be doing in the mm. first place? Because especially for people like us that are 
multi-talented, you know. Yeah. And that's not me even trying to be. Don't it's worry. Just, I wasn't gonna. I wasn't gonna say it. <laughs> I was. I thought it. But that's just about you know when you know like the different things that you could do. You know, yeah. It's just, you know. But put that way, it doesn't feel like you're showing yeah. off. Yeah. Put that way. Put yeah. that Abby. Exactly. <laughs> so it's just one of the things. But when I think through the years, I'm just like. I hope I'm doing the right thing. I hope I'm doing the right yeah. thing, and wow. if I'm not, God take me there type thing. Okay. But um, on that note, we'll go for a quick break and Candy Balcolet is still in the loft. Welcome back to the spot, guys. Um, we're still in the house with Kende Bankole talking about through the years. Um, I can't remember who was the last person to. Oh, to somebody ask the question. We haven't heard from you, though. What was my question? Um, oh, but when, I, when you think through yeah. the years. Oh, yeah, she yeah, did. She, she did. started off saying, yeah, 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 sort of, yeah. yeah. Um, saying, you know, I tend to think about the other angle. But I mean, I think everyone has had, has given sort of like, really interesting things and deep mm. things to kind of think about and talk about, especially with, you know, with Timini saying, you know, choices. Mm -hmm. And, you know, definitely got me thinking of, yeah, choices that we make. I think every choice we make, are, you know, is, is something that we, in the future, then look back on, was that the point at which mm -hmm. my life changed? Yeah. Was that the point at which this yeah. happened? Was that was it because I made this choice that this has now mm -hmm. happened, et cetera, et cetera. So mm -hmm. it, it's definitely, yeah, it's, 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 it's definitely a big thing. Um, I wanted to s ask, you know, through the years, what you think has made the most impact? Like the things that you've done that have made the most sort of impact or change on you as a person now, as like how you are inside. Uh, the, the one that has made the most impact, career, personal, on all grounds, was to decide to first tell myself who I was and to decide I wasn't going to change that for anything. I was mm -hmm. going to stay on the path of who I told myself I was. Mm -hmm. I was going to change that for anything. A career won't come and make me who change. You're not. Yeah. Okay. I decided I wanted to commit to my life properly. Mm -hmm. if, if it was by finding God, deciding that, oh, I know God for who he is. I like what I know about him. And I think I like my life being okay. hidden in God rather than just being all about the place and okay. I, I committed to that and I said I wasn't going to give that up for anything. Yeah. I think that's what has now consequently informed every other decision I've made. Battles I've had to fight, things I've had to be tempted with and all mm -hmm. that. I think it started all from, from that choice I made. Yeah. Okay. Um, what do I think? Uh, I, can't, I can't steal. I can't steal. <laughs> <laughs> okay, no. so that's on one. <laughs> okay, so that's one angle. Um, things that have impacted. I think it's also been the different types of people that I've met mm. in the years because everybody comes into your life and um, shapes it in one way or mm -hmm. another. There, there's some people that you learn things from, you, mm -hmm. you, you take things from. Mm -hmm. or, um, so I think I've, I've been blessed in just how I've evolved with the people that have been, been around, that have been around yeah. and helping with that evolution um, of my life. Yeah, that sense. yeah it does. Yeah. So For me, I decided to be happy. I, like, I made a con like was I remember the day, you know, I just, you know, because I was living for a lot of people, you know, I was doing a lot of things for a lot of people. I had a lot of, I had like, you know, a bunch of people that I was carrying around as mm -hmm. friends and, you know, you, and then I just said, you know, at a point in time that, you know, Timini, you have to do, first of all, forget about it from the point of view that you might look selfish, yeah. but you have to kind of like just do what it is that is best for you, mm -hmm. you know. And ever since I did that, you know, I kind of like started enjoying life more mm. and I started, you know, feeling more fulfilled with like mm. with what I've been doing, you know. And yeah, I guess that's what it is. And also, you know, getting closer to God, because regardless of the fact that we all, you know, sin and fall short of his glory and, you know, all of that, it's also good to just know and develop your own one on one relationship mm. with him. Yeah. Of yeah. Not through any church or not through any pastor or not through any, just one on one. You yeah. know? And I think that's kind of like what has been the turning point. Okay. So cool. I was gonna, but when you said the best of um, doing what was best for you, yeah. I was gonna say there's something that's missing in this, um, in this mix what? that I was going to do the best for. Okay. Um, Kane Day. So I'm actually like a super fan. Really? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I am, and okay. I don't do this often. So I'm gonna ask you, what would you like to eat? What would I like to eat? What would I like to eat? Spot so that I can mm. 
go and arrange. Okay. You want to go and arrange? I want to go and arrange. Mm. Okay. I'll make it. Let me. Simple. This and is... cost effective, please. Cost effective. No, you cost effective. There's a recession. I'm trying to be nice. Let's say, I'd like any simple Chinese meal. Mm. I just like to <laughs> go and look for Amala mm. oh. Begiri. That's easy. <laughs> Amala with Begiri. That's not hard and, um, to find. There's small to dice. meat. Di oh. Dice meat. Oh. oh. You I just oh god! You, you. Yeah, uh, mm, do you see this? Mm, do you see mm, the connection? Because you know, take it, take you, it. you know how obsessed I am with Amala too. She you can't, you can't have a wedding and not have Amala. And they will do. That's and they will do Angbegiri. She's a real like. Yeah, she, I, I will go. So do people have any Amala? party? Like, if you down, have, down, I'm eating it. So that's yeah, what I want. Please, I want pan and egg sushi. You said you're paying for it. Where's the money? Check my room. Which means there's no money. There's no money. There's no money. All right, so, okay, so, so, buy me food, oh, so they know you so well. I'm going food shopping. Yeah, buy me food, please. Pounded yam and goosey. Where are you going? I'll think about it. <laughs> Bye, Zainab. Bye. Be nice we'll, see you we'll, see, we'll see you later. Yes. Okay. Toodles. Toodles. All right. Are you sure you really don't want to give me cash? No, 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 it's fine. Okay. All right. See ya. See ya. See ya. Want to be here. Amala. No, I know, right? Let's hope she actually comes back. <laughs> And she doesn't eat it on the road. No, she won't. Yeah. yeah. She just yeah. said she's she's a big fan. Yeah. So I'm sure actually with that, it won't just be the pieces. There will be a goofy. In <laughs> the I'm thinking there will be, you know, those side pomo mm -hmm. things. <laughs> you like food. Yeah. It's good to have people you be like, your... Yeah, you be like your fan. Yeah, I'm feeling good. Actually, about fan, about, let me just throw my own in there. She's actually one of the great actresses, though. Yeah. yeah. She's sabi, you know, some she's people will love, some people will packaging, mm -hmm, you know, but mm -hmm. when it boils down to what it boils down to, mm -hmm. you know, yeah. See you me know, smiling. Yeah. 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 What you do. And, um, yeah, you can give us some lessons. <laughs> Indeed, liar. Stop lobbying for liars. yourself. I don't understand. Don't you just forever lobbying for yourself? Don't be selfish, Timini. Just because you said you want to live for yourself now. See, so, see, people should come see. on. Viewers, <laughs> can you help me tweet at Lamide and Zainab and let them just allow me be myself, allow me express myself, allow me live a little? Yeah? So, living a little, anyway, you know. It's and going on to that be a new note, year, so <laughs> let me be. And on that note, we're going to go for a quick break. We're going to be back with Kende and Lamide. Hopefully, Zainab will be back with the food. Hi guys, welcome back. You are still watching The Spot. We're still here with the lovely Kaini Bankole talking about through the years. And um, I wanted to talk about um, certain things that are sort of like rites of passage through the years. Mm. It's different in different parts of the world. I think mm. in, for example, the UK and the US, you know, 16 slash 18 is like, oh, this is when you move out, get your own place, get mm. a job. It's not the same for us in Africa, right? Mm -hmm. So through the years, we have to kind of develop, in a sense, our own rites of passage mm -hmm. our rites of passage are very different so what are some of the ones that you've kind of like experienced through the years that you were like yes now i feel like i'm a grown-up i know that um for me i well i went away i left nigeria quite young when i was in um secondary school so i did js one to three here mm -hmm. and then i moved away and being away from home it's difficult to fit in their own rites of passage with your own so even though oh you finish secondary school and you're now entering university, mommy and daddy don't think you're a big girl. You're not a big girl. You're, you're still, still there, baby. Our, you understand what I'm saying? It's not that kind of thing. Even though I was, I was working and I was paying my bills, I knew that when I came home, I couldn't say, I'm going out, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. You can't try it. So I know that it was one of the things that I had to struggle through through the years, like that whole back and forth, back and forth. You're a different person in a sense mm -hmm. in the States or in the UK than you would be home because you have all these different kind of cultural Cultures. things like getting at you. So like, what, are, what were your rites of passages that kind of changed or happened to you through the years? Um, it was the first time I, I had to work. Mm -hmm. Like actually say, I'm going to work. Yeah. And that broke, that broke that hold, that stronghold my parents had on me okay. for that time. And um, I think it also helped them to trust me that, oh, she could do well in school and still go for all these auditions, like my father would say. <laughs> he used to call it all these auditions. Yeah. And um, I earned their trust. Mm. And because I earned their trust, I became more confident in what I was trying to do. Yeah. What I thought I was doing. You know, like, we always feel mm. we know what we're doing. Yeah. What I thought I was doing. And um, so the first for me was saying I wanted to work. And what was the job? It wasn't such a huge job, but the idea that I could wake up in the morning, 
I'd finished oh, my secondary school certificate mm -hmm. exams. Yeah. And I could wake up in the morning and say, everyone would dress up and leave. Yeah, and you'd be at home. And, and I could also dress up and say, <gasps> okay, what about? Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> I was teaching <laughs> oh, in a okay. primary school. Okay. My uncle had a school and I decided I was going to go and teach there. Yeah. And that was the first thing that broke it for me. Wow. So That's cool. So do you, do you remember any of your kids? Did they remember you? Did they ever, did they ever reach out? Because I'm sure by now they'll be... Auntie's oh, a no, superstar now. Auntie's a full superstar Way back then there was no technology per se. No, the way we have um, Instagram, yeah. we had all them social media platforms. Obviously then we didn't have it. Yeah. And the class I was teaching were very... They were okay, young they were really, kids. really young. Yeah. Ah, okay. So I'm sure, who knows, one they or two of them still, might they remember They probably me. used to remember. Uh, they probably still they, remember. They were, that class I used to teach then mm. was the tr most troublesome in that school. <laughs> It was a Muslim mm. school. Okay. Like the proper Muslim with a hijab mm. Mm. type ah, of school. I see. Okay. Yes. And I and because I didn't understand I'm Christian. Okay. So I didn't understand some of the things that the kids had to do. Oh. I understood the way the uniform was, the scarf and everything had to mm -hmm. be there, but like, you know, I don't want to go religious, yeah. but mm. there are there are different. the ways oh, we, we behave. Ways, yeah. Yeah. As, yeah. Religion religion influences our behavior in different Most ways. Definitely. So it took me a while to understand them. Okay. So when they were in fights or in arguments, I used to just entertain myself. <laughs> I was the teacher that would, I wasn't I wasn't separating them when mm. they were laughing. fighting. <laughs> I just and she just come, Auntie, Auntie, mm. so Zainab. They are the then, cutest, I said. Then, then they'll be heaving and saying, uh -huh. yeah. After, you know, say, mm. uh, <laughs> and you just be like, ah, and I'm there know. like, <laughs> I've just enjoying myself. Then I learned how to pray, okay. the Muslim prayer. Oh. Um, I was curious, so I learned a lot of things. Mm -hmm. I understood why they would do this and why they would do that. Mm -hmm. Understood that the women had to pray in a separate place, men had to pray in a separate place. It was like an education for me, oh, and I dope. also was able to get out of my house in the morning yeah. and say bye and be back by me to say three, four. Yeah. So I had that freedom, and from there on. I started going out more on my own. Mm -hmm. So when I quit the teaching, I just mm -hmm. said, I'm, I'm quitting and I want to do more of um, acting. Yeah. I want to look for more auditions. <laughs> I want to do more All of that. All these auditions. Yeah, but could, <laughs> my dad could trust me. I say, oh, if you, if you made such a good example with the teaching, mm -hmm. yeah, I could trust that I this would be better. That's so. good. That's good. Yeah. How about you? Well, for me, I'd say, okay, first of all, um, handling your own bills. Mm. You know, because it's like it just happens overnight. One <laughs> minute, yeah, like mommy, they said we should bring, and I need to do this, and I need yeah. a new car, or I need to change. And then all of a sudden, it's like sort yourself out. That's the first stage. And the second stage is now when your mom will now call you and say, I Timini, need. I need to fix my car, or mm. I need to. And you're like, ah. and the fact that you have to do it, you know, <laughs> no, no, it's a good feeling yeah, because the fact that you now feeling. have to yeah. actually do it, and you're like, oh, mom, I've transferred. Yeah. X and X amount. X yeah. and X and amount. And she's like, oh, thank you very much. I'll show you it. be better for you. Yeah. Yeah. Kind of thing. like, yeah. yes. You know, then when you now move out, that's another, you know, level you know another level. And then when you now have a female, you know, that, yet, that you've that you've not only dated, no, you know, younger days, when you're, you're, you're yeah. younger, you're dating someone, it's just, yeah, I love you, I love you. Mm -hmm. But when you now have a female that, you know, you two, you're handling one or two things for her, like in financially, and it's, it's like, yeah, you're just letting yourself know Is that. Is it showing off? I think No, 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 it's normal. Off, like, right? I feel like, no, no, right? no, it's not about. I'm just, right? I'm just, I'm just allowing him. I've abused him plenty today, so I'm just going to leave him. Just it's just, me. when, they, when um, they Yeah, yeah, sure, she's a I'm listening. Person. Yeah, sure, go on. <laughs> You said that. You know, but yeah, that's what it is basically. So the more responsibilities that you pack on, you yeah. know, the the better or the yeah. more automatically you yeah. just start to feel freer. Yeah, yeah. 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 and yeah. you start to own your own. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I know. Most when you definitely. pay rent, Jesus, <laughs> and then you not appreciate all the things that your parents were doing for you. Listen, like, you know, DSTV, all the bills, I'm all them you. bills. Like, do I really need yeah. air? Do yeah. I? Yeah. Do I, do I really need it? Do I need <laughs> gas? I don't know. Do I really need AC? <laughs> Can I just yeah. yeah. You know, maybe a TV. I mean, who needs a flat screen? What's a flat screen? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, most definitely. If there was one regret that you had. Uh, through the years? Yeah. If there um, was one that you can point out and say, you know what, this one, no, I shouldn't have done it. I don't know. To be honest, sometimes it, it's, it's uh, situational, actually, mm. for me. So there's some, certain times where... I, there's certain times where I regret moving back to Nigeria. Mm. There's certain times I regret moving back to Nigeria. Mm. And there's certain times that I don't, I'm like, you know what? It was good because this, 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 and this happened. And if I was somewhere else, I don't think that it would have happened this way. So for me, situation, I don't actually have 
like one even like the people that I've dated for example and maybe I made a wrong choice with mm -hmm. one or me I made a wrong choice with two it taught me something mm. maybe it taught me what I won't accept again mm -hmm. maybe it taught me um, to see the better in people I don't know but it taught me something that still applies to me today so even as much as maybe the, the it, it hurt at the time or it was a bad choice or it was a bad decision I tend to see that, okay, there actually was some good in it. Mm. So I can't say I regret it and just, oh, I wish I never did it. How about you? Uh, you what are the things I say? regret? Do you, yeah, do you do, yes. Regret? Do you have any, like, any anything that you just think about, like, over the years? You're like, oh, that thing I did do. <sighs> no. No? I'll just echo what she said. Mm. They're just experiences. And uh, for every experience, even if you don't learn how to do something, you probably will be learning how not to do it. Mm -hmm. So, no, I don't have any. No. Good. Excellent. Well, uh, we're going to go on another break real okay. quick. Um, you guys, please let us know. Join in on the conversation. Let us know your thoughts, your opinions, you know, your experiences, and we'll see you after this break. Welcome back to the sport, guys. We are here talking about um, experiences through the years, and we still have Kende and Lamide, the beautiful that Lamide. Pause that you're like, I wanted to, I wanted to, you know, wash you more. Like, there's no, there's no wash you can wash me in the game. I've seen you finish in this. All right, quick one. <laughs> We're going to do something now, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, if you, so this is you in the future, right? Yeah. So if you're going to send a message to yourself. Like in the future, like ago. in three days? Because, you know. <laughs> My bad, my bad, my bad. Let me let you finish, okay. If you're going to send a message to yourself 10 years ago, what would you say? What would you have told yourself? Oh. <laughs> 10 years ago. Mm, 10, 10 years, years ago. ago. You go first. Ooh. 10 years ago. Don't do that. Don't date him, girl. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just playing. Um, 10 years ago, I probably would have told myself to believe in myself more mm. and to, uh, to, take, to take more chances. And to, and the, actually, the, the biggest thing is to not beat myself up so much when I did something wrong or when I felt like I made a mistake. Because in beating, in beating myself, actually, I did it to myself. Like, in beating myself up so much, it was un, I was in, unable to gather the vim and vigor that to, you need. To, to just do it. I, I was just like, I was just stuck in that. Ah, oh, oh gosh, you're so silly. You're so stupid. How would you do that? <laughs> da, 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 da. So I think that would be my, that would be, those would be my messages to myself. To yourself. Mm -hmm. What about you? Um, 10 years ago, mm -hmm. my message to myself, from now back to 10 years, would mm -hmm. be just yeah. to chill. Mm. <laughs> not to worry about stuff exactly. so much because in the exactly end it's do. always all right yeah, yeah. you know so it, it helps me also because whatever it is i'm planning on worrying about now i'm like mm -hmm. it's not happening yeah because everything i've ever wanted everything i've ever needed my life is my past and my present they're like two complete different ends mm. so it means also my present now and my future will be they're going to be like yeah so everything i want an oscar i want mm. this i want that amen it's amen. gonna i connect happen. with you for that oscar ah, that's such a good way to <laughs> it's gonna that's happen. such a good way to look at things yeah, yeah so you know? everything i've ever wanted and then if i came from if in the past i was really so close to where i am now mm -hmm. i'll be thinking ah might not be possible yeah mm. Mm. but i came from such an extreme end of the other side mm -hmm. and i'm here so from here, I can only, I mean, you can't even imagine. Looky, so looky. I, I, I tell myself yeah, sure. if I had an opportunity to send myself a message mm. way back then that don't worry about nothing. Yeah. Because mm. everything, every rent you've always been anxious about paying. You Didn't you pay you, it eventually? Yeah. Are you not here today? Yeah. Yeah. You will always solve it. Every yeah. this and that you've always wanted, mm. you will always solve it. Mm. You will always. That's yeah. a good one. Yeah. You know when someone says exactly what you <laughs> <would> say? <laughs> That's what happened right now. Don't, don't worry. Don't worry. put pressure on yourself. No yeah. pressure. At the end of no the day, pressure. you'll be all right. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's an excellent note to round up the topic yep. on and to round up the show because it seems like we're out of time. Mm -hmm. Zainab never made it back with the Amala, but <laughs> <laughs> maybe she's outside. We don't know. Uh, but we'd like to thank Kende for coming through. We really thank appreciate you. your time. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Yes. Thank you for having me. You're welcome. Thank we you. loved having you. Um, thank you guys for watching. We look forward to hearing from you and seeing you next time. Peace out. Bye. This is not my sign out. <laughs>